From Bible study to Alcoholics Anonymous to yoga, inmates at the Tulsa County Jail expanding their horizons while locked up. To work she reporter Liz Bryant, the only one allowed access inside tonight. She reveals how much you pay for all these programs. Karen, what does it cost you, the taxpayers? Not one single dime. All 20 programs are volunteer based and yoga in this jail started in July. It's a courtroom by day where you just don't have much control of your future. You have complete control over your mind. By night, this man instills that control with yoga. We all have a connection. We all know somebody that has been involved with the legal system, some way, somehow. Elbows in tight. It's Joshua's first class. He's been inside David El Moss the last five months for drug and gun charges. To get more in tune with my mind, my mind and my body, I think it'll help me in everyday life. Exhale, heart center. Myron's been breathing through yoga the last month. Relaxes me, frees my mind, because, like, in here, people need it. Like, they go through a lot in life, and uh, this is just a good exercise throughout the day. Joshua hands out ready to receive in here, so when he is out, He's a role model for his eight kids, with one already in jail. I've been making a lot of negatives since I've been here positive. I'm turning the negative into a positive, so I figured this could help. The system is not designed for rehabilitation. And with that said, people are needing to serve in that capacity to fill that gap. The instructor says reaching up and out is already making a difference. This inmate sang a song he wrote about yoga class. Namaste. Now, some of these men in the class tonight are violent offenders facing multiple assault charges right now. There are four classes a week, two for the women and two for the men. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.